Hello and welcome to South Wales City, the series where we follow the growth and development of a mid-sized Aussie city. This region's history runs deep, with Indigenous people having lived in the area for a couple of thousand generations. I am the Aussie urbanist, and this is South Wales City. Hello and welcome to South Wales City, Episode 1. Today I'm going to be discussing this city, where it's at now, and what we can expect in the future. This city is representative of the average Australian city, and how they looked about 50 years ago. It has plenty of space to expand and excellent transport connections and potential. Highways are being constructed, with some work already done. It remains to be seen just how much traffic these highways will be able to dump into the city. That seems to be what most urban planners still want to do. Buses are becoming mainstream and train lines are expanding. Offices and higher education are popping up around the city. Southwell is about to experience unprecedented growth as urbanisation increases and the city starts to absorb population from surrounding regions. This rapid expansion will have a range of consequences, some good, some bad. The next episode will look into a downtown urban renewal program. We can see here that Southwell has land set aside for future transport corridors and development and we'll start to cash in on this with a major industrial area springing up around a new cargo station. There is already a passenger station being serviced here. It is visited by roughly every second train that passes through. I wonder if it will be well patronised. Typically stations that serve only industrial parks have very low patronage. I'm interested to see how this turns out in Southwell. Another subsequent episode will look into the ghost town to the city's west. This ghost town was definitely not formed by an annoying quirk in the game that prevented me from connecting the railway to a town, thus causing the town to wither and die a slow death. This will be an episode I'm particularly excited for. I started building Southall earlier this month and the city has grown on me and its story has really started to take shape. Unfortunately, City Skylines 2 is a little bit colonialist, if I'm to be honest. And uh, I mean, you know, you get Terra Nullius at the start of a year. Is that problematic? And I don't know, I think it just highlights a real complex and, and long history of pretty much every city and inhabited area in the world. This is why we are seeing the city now already quite developed. This, st this station, by the way, is the main passenger railway station in the city and it's already quite busy with intercity travel and uh, local passengers from neighbouring stations are starting to use it more and more. Multiple train lines travel through and terminate here and the nearby bus station is desperately in need of some more space to operate more efficiently. Something that definitely also happens in real life cities. The railway definitely would not be such a big success without the buses. They transport people around the town and to major travel hubs. The buses also connect with the ship terminus. It is this inclusion which caused me a lot of pain and almost caused me to give up on the city. More on this later. I'm still getting familiar with a lot of this YouTube stuff, so forgive me if things are a bit clunky. I'm enjoying this process of learning and I'm sure you know there's a lot of parts involved in making a video, both behind the scenes and on camera. But I got plans for some more videos and they're going to include stuff on, on rural town, suburban and urban growth, and uh, last but not least, a public transport overall. If you want to catch these, please consider subscribing. And now for the cinematics.